In this video, I am going to show you end-to-end -end process of creating a brand new data set and then fine-tuning a model on that data set in a different language. For this purpose, I will be creating a brand new fine-tuned model from the base Gemma model and I will be using a data set in Urdu language. This data set which you can see on your screen I already have created and I will show you the process shortly. This consists of fictional Bollywood movie names and their songs. Let me show you its readme. Now the way it works is that this is similar to Alpaca dataset where I have given instruction input and output in English and then same translated into Urdu language. Urdu in my humble opinion is one of the beautiful musical language in the world. It is the national language of Pakistan but also very frequently spoken in India and various other countries. Especially when it comes to songs and ghazals and musics and all that poetry, Urdu is matchless. If you are a real poetry fan and you are you are not aware of Urdu language and if you are in, uh, speak any other language, I would highly highly suggest that give Urdu a read. You would love it, especially when it comes to poetry. Now, Urdu is uh, I think one of the national languages in India, I'm not sure, but quite frequently spoken. But anyway, Indian movie industry is colloquially called as Bollywood, especially in the north of India. And most of their songs are in Urdu language. It is also called as a street Hindi language, but it is interchangeable when it, uh, it is spoken. This data set is inspired by those Bollywood songs. Now what I have done here is I have created fictional movie name in the instructions such as Heart Secret or in Urdu or Hindi it would be called as Razidil and then output is the lyrics of the song such as in this one that unveiling the heart secret immersed in love and then in Urdu that Dil Ki Raas Khulte Hain, Pyaar Mein Dholte Hain. So this is, our, um, this is rhyming quite nicely. Now how I have created it? Very simple. All I did, went to the chat GPT, then I gave it an example that uh, this is a JSON L text which where all the JSON entries are in different lines and then I gave it that okay this is Urdu instruction, Urdu input, Urdu output, I just generated one example by using Google Translate, put it there and then I asked it to generate me uh, some fictional songs and movie names and it has generated me a few lines. Now, for this data set, uh, just for the testing and learning purposes, I am only using some the, where is it? there you go, 30 to 40 lines, not much, so that it will be quicker to show you. But just imagine, you can go, you can pull out uh, all the thousands and thousands of Bollywood songs and their movie names, create your own data set, and then by using this process, which I'm going to show you, you can build your own large language model which will be Bollywood aware and you can repeat the same process for any movie industry in uh, for any country how cool is that okay and I will be dropping all the code in my blog and I will put the link in video description so don't worry about the code okay let's so you have seen the data set and you have you now know how to create that data set this is already hosted in my hugging hugging face um, space okay Cool. Now for this purpose, I will be using Google Colab free version. So let me go to my Google Colab. So this is my Google Colab and the first thing which I did was to change the runtime. So go into the runtime, change runtime type and make sure that you have T4 GPU selected. That is a free GPU which Google gives you very generously. Now before I show you how to do all of this, let me give you a uh, give you couple of credits to the people from uh, where I took some of the inspiration. So firstly, uh, Muhammad Arsalan's Jamma Urdu Shaheen model, which is quite cool. And he um, used the same code. So thank you Arsalan for the code and everything from the Unsloth. And secondly, the data set from Ravi. And I think he works in Llama Index, I guess. So I also took the inspiration from his data set, which has the Liku Urdu and English. 
a similar format okay so now that is done now let me show you the code first thing let's install some of the prerequisites which install which includes unsloth and various torch and other stuff i have done various videos on unsloth if you're not aware of what exactly that is so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long that is done now let's install another prerequisites uh, inops shouldn't take too long it's a very small library and then we need to download the Gemma model and we'll be using the unsloth library for that so you can see that i'm using tokenizer and it, this is our Gemma 7 billion in the 4-bit quantization let's load it shouldn't take too long the multilingual capabilities of Gemma are quite good i have been very extensively covering Gemma. i feel that it is quite good especially when it comes to multilingual so let's wait for this Gemma to load shouldn't take too long around it is just under 6 gig speed is quite good 50 percent done if that is tensors have been loaded and once that's in we are going to add some of the lora adapter the low rank adaptation so that we won't have to update all of the parameters that is the advantage of lora and again i have done few videos on laura if you're not aware of what laura is i believe almost there that's done now let's add laura adapters i was saying and these are all the usual parameters which we are using for the peft model i have uh, already gone through them in detail in my other videos just please search with peft and you should find them okay so that is done now it is time to load our data set and make sure that we are loading it properly with the proper alpaca prompt so this is alpaca prompt which i was referring to it is just telling in urdu language that um, we will be providing it a movie name and then uh, take a moment and write the lyrics of the song which should match with the semantic of the movie's name and then similar alpaca prompt template instruction input and response and if you scroll down i have given my own uh hugging face repos data set name here which i showed you earlier this one let's run it a very small data set so it shouldn't take too long to download there you go so very very small that is done and then we need to log into the hugging face now in order to do that you would need the access token so go to your hugging face account and if you don't have uh, an existing one just create with your email account then you can create a new token just write because we will also be saving our uh, model to hugging face i already have it i will be rotating it later so i'm just going to copy the existing write token then replace it here you can also save it in the secret just click on this key icon and add a new secret that is a better way of doing it but for the purpose of this let's do it from here and you can see that i'm already logged in here and okay now this is the time where we find tune our model on this data set we already have downloaded the JAMA model we already have downloaded the data set now it is time to use this sft trainer to train it and then these are all the training parameters which we have given if you don't know what these are i already have as i said described in great detail as what exactly they mean in my other videos and you can search the channel for it okay so trainer uh, has been defined now we need to run the trainer let's start the trainer it is going to make i think 100 uh, passes on it 
total steps 100 as you can see so it will go through a data set 100 times and then the loss should start decreasing as it passes through that so let's wait for it to finish it is starting it this right now training loss is 3.1 and you will see that it will start coming down as the model gets trained on this new data set and the bigger your data set is the more passes or more steps you will make the longer it will take and the more gpu memory you would require and you can see that already the training loss is decreasing and the more passes it will make the more uh, training loss will be reduced let's wait so you can see that uh, passes are being made in the fine tuning of this model and the training loss is decreasing training loss during this fine tuning basically what is it is doing is it is quantifying the difference between the models predicted outputs and the actual target values in the training data set which is quite small in our case as the model learns from the data it adjusts its internal parameter to minimize the loss the loss typically decreases with each pass or epoch over the training data because the model is iteratively improving its predictions based on the feedback from the loss function and this process continues until the model reaches an optimal state where the loss is minimized and you can see that loss is quite fine at the moment so now it is indicating that models predictions are as close as possible due to the actual targets given the models architecture cool so now the fine tuning is complete on our data set let's do some inference to see if model is able to generate some lyrics on the basis of our data set so in this example what i'm doing it in urdu i am first just saying this instruction what it is saying in urdu is that diye gaye film ke naam ke bare mein ek mukhtasar geet ke bol likhein aur that a movie's name is given just write a short song lyrics from that movie name now movie name is why fell in love aur kyun pyar ho gaya if you have ever watched bollywood movies you will find this word pyar in almost every second movie anywhere pyar is basically it translates to love in english let's see if it is able to generate it now let me run it and let's see what it generates there you go so movie movie's name was kyun pyar ho gaya and the lyrics are kyun pyar ho gaya dil ka jaha so it has tried to write some bold because my data set is very small that is why the lyrics are quite small but it actually wrote something which is quite interesting let's try another one so in my another example i'm just uh, giving it a movie name rang or in english color and i'm asking it to write a lyrics on the basis and following the semantic of that movie name let's see what model does now there it says that rang ke diye dil ko chhu liye wow this is actually quite fine that some you know amazing stuff so if you know hindi or urdu you know that it is quite fine and you could even use it some of the movie songs so there you go just on the basis of a small data set we were able to make this jama model write our song lyrics in urdu or hindi amazing stuff So again thank you to arslan for this code and the you know the whole uh, collab he shared plus ravi's data set from where i took the inspiration from this data set now once the model is ready what you can do you can push it to your hugging face and so that other people if you want they can use it so in order to do that just type this command model dot push to hub then your repo name and then model name and which you can use so i'm just calling it jama urdu in the bollywood song or you could ca call it any uh, other thing which you like so maybe uh, jama ghazals or whatever you would like so i'm just going to just call it this 
okay i think i need to import that library sorry i was forgot to push my uh put my token here which i have done and now it is uploading the model and use your own token i will be rotating it so as i showed you earlier all you need to do is to go to hugging face website and generate your own token okay so my model is being uploaded almost done it's such a small model because i just fine-tuned it 200 meg that's it so if i go there if, or maybe you can click on this one there you go so this is my jama urdu hindi bollywood song model and if you go to my repo i have already three models and this is the one which we have just uploaded how cool is that and again thank you to onslaught and trl hugging with trl library if you go to files you will see all the tensor files and everything awesome stuff so that's it guys as i said i will be putting the code here um, in my blog and i'll drop the link in video's description try it out it's so easy and if you build something let me know and i'll be happy to review it if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching